All right, so today I'm going to be using the Iron Banner Pulse Rifle here, the Forge's Pledge. I already played the game with it. In the first game I played, I got almost 30 kills alone with just the Pulse Rifle. I was actually surprised by this thing. I still think high impact frames or rapid fire frames are better. They each just play to a strength while this thing is just kind of not super good at anything, but also not terrible at anything at the same time. You definitely need Arrowhead on it. It has a horrible recoil direction. It has a 51 base recoil direction so this takes it to 81 which is great hackerized and arranged masterwork are very good on this thing too because it pushes the range to 34 meters heating up is also a good perk it's going to give me more stability and tighten my accuracy cone on a kill while also giving me minus 20 recoil direction meaning as soon as i get a kill my gun shoots straight up and down i have 100 recoil direction that allows me to use Icarus instead of something like a counterbalance mod because I don't have to waste a mod slot on more recoil direction or I guess less. And then I have multi-kill clip. I would switch this out for Rampage and that would be my 5 out of 5. So this is sort of like a 4.5 out of 5 because you need to reload to proc multi-kill clip and heating up activates on a kill. So while I'm reloading, I'm essentially wasting heating up. It kind of sucks, but I still do like both perks. I like this combo. I pop off with it. You can get a lot of cool perks on this gun. You can get elemental capacitor here. You can get iron grip. You can get things like surplus or tunnel vision in this column. It has a lot of cool perks. Unfortunately, it's just a 390 RPM, so kind of sucks, but whatever. It's still a fun gun to use in 6v6. I promise you want arrowhead over a roll like this, though. This roll has full bore, accurized, and arranged masterwork. It has 36 meters of range, so it has 2 meters of range on my other one, but it is so much worse to shoot. I promise you go for arrowhead on this gun. You need that recoil direction. Here's the build for anyone that cares. Just pulse rifle and shotgun mods. I'm on top tree dawn because I have Icarus on. I'm going to float around with this thing. I got a pretty good fract at this roll here. I only get like a couple kills in the gameplay with this. It's pretty much strictly a pulse rifle gameplay. And I got a galley here. Nothing special. I hope you enjoy. I pop off with this thing. Roll the gameplay. Alright, there's a kill. Let me get multi-kill clip really quick. No one challenged right there. I thought for sure someone was going to challenge that. I knew that guy was... He was either invis or crouching. One of the two. We're going to float here, and I'll be able to drop down and get this guy off B. I like light level that guy or something. So now we have heating up and multi-kill clip. The gun is pretty insane when that happens. Like I didn't want to challenge, unfortunately. I would have had multi-kill clip times like whatever and then heating up times two for him, but. Nice, easy kill right there. Oh, I try to get a little pre-firing on that guy. All right, I've been here for a while now. I'm gonna move. This guy should be challenging right here. And I got frozen. <laughs> I don't even think that freeze was meant for me, man. That sucks. I was on a little, a nice little streak there. Anyways, we'll keep it going. I hate that head glitch. Let me see if somebody jumps up here really quick while I get my health back. I can't, like I didn't die. You are not getting away from me, brother. Oh, I thought for sure you would die. That's another annoying thing about invis is they lose their health bar, so you don't actually know how weak they are. I'm going to do something that not a whole lot of people know about, but you can do this. You can float on the outside of the map. Ah, I can actually float for quite a bit longer. All right, let me float back into the map. That is a very cheesy way to play, but nice kill on that guy right there. We have our, our perks lined up right now. Fortunately, we can't get that guy. We don't quite have enough range to like two burst him. Move out of the way of this grenade here. I should float, but I'm going to try and go back for this heavy. What comes next? Oh, I totally forgot that I had a sword right there. That. <laughs> what the heck? That was so weird. Don't 
let your guard I don't down. know why people challenge when they're so one shot. Dang, like I had an overshield, some Void 3.0 gaming. I haven't really had a problem with these guys, but my team is, they are getting destroyed, man. It is not a good time for the teammates. The flames have gone cold. Yeah, that guy's gonna pop super. I'm gonna float here and should be able to get somebody off B. I was able to get that guy. My aim's a little weird with this thing. First game with it, so I'm not exactly used to the zoom. Let's get this reload off. Alright, so the super is going over there. I need to go this way. I can't just kill it by myself. Nice shot in melee on this guy. I'm going to crouch right here. Should save my life. I'm actually going to get a different heavy man. Let me just grab a galley. I'm just gonna launch that onto B. Maybe I get two. Nice three burst on that guy. Have our damage perk now. Unfortunately, I can't take advantage of it. Looks like I'm just gonna take out a super though. Like I got railed. Maybe I should pop my super. Might be able to get this guy up here. Oh, that was actually pretty sick right there. It was a nice throw. Thought for sure there'd be a guy there, but nice little three burst on that guy. I needed to not die by this Nova bomb. Had my damage perk for that dude. This guy should jump up, but I don't know, maybe not. It's not a good angle to take with a pulse, so I'm way too close. Dang, man. I mean... All that slaying out. Man. I really want to just challenge this guy, but... Probably isn't the smartest place to go with a pulse. Nice. I know this guy's right here. I might see me got him. I was just ready to hip fire him with multi kill clip, honestly. I'm gonna put a healing rift down right here. Really need some flags. As soon as we get this, I'm gonna float and I'm gonna try and co help control the middle of the map. Some weird aim right there, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I literally can't hit him through that. Oh, I'm trying, man. Like, I got B. I tried to control the middle of the map, but sometimes you just need help from your teammates and you don't get it. Tried getting away from that super too, but dang, you know, I'm probably, I'm gonna be honest, I'm probably gonna use this game, man. Like, this is my first game with it, and I feel like I didn't do anything wrong. I just got, got the short end of the stick on the skill based matchmaking. Well, this is a galley shot. And I'm gonna use that right there. <laughs> I got the double melee on this guy. I can't. I can't get out of this though, man. This is. Dude, this is so annoying to hit people that are meleeing. This guy's probably going to make a mistake in challenge while weak. No, he did not.
Well, man, that's unfortunate. I feel like if that game goes on for longer, I could get a lot more kills. But, I mean, 36 and a 9.0. <laughs> and I can't be, like, I don't know. I feel like I just needed one other person with me to slay, and we could have carried the rest of the teammates, but... As you can see though, this thing, it's not bad, it's just also not great. I really wish I had Rampage, it would synergize way better with heating up. Like I said, Rampage would be my 5 out of 5. 